Hey you guys, I'm back. As you see from the title, wow, I haven't done my hair in like three weeks. Subscribe to my channel you guys and hit that bell so you can be notified for more videos. Follow me on my Instagram at Shibli Hair Journey. Yes, that's right. I haven't paid any attention or done my hair or did anything to it for almost three weeks you guys I've been just leaving it in a bun you know I got two young kids I've been doing a lot of remodeling to my bathroom I can't wait till you guys see the new tile and everything that I've done and I've been shopping around for a new car and I'll be explaining the car that I got I love it anyway let's just jump into this hairstyle so first thing you guys always always detangle your hair before your wash day so i put a little bit of castor oil in bottled water and i'm just mist misting my spraying my hair i'll put the um, information of this bottle down below i love this bottle because it just has a great mist it's like a spa treatment to the hair you know what i mean so make sure you just really drench the hair all the way so you know we're gonna really try to get just some of the tangles out not all of them but basically the big ones you know so my wash day can go much faster in this video I'm going to explain in details of the products that I use and why I use them and these are my like everyday wash day routine products that I use it's been helping you know my hair just grow y'all wait till you see the length once I fully wash it and everything it just seems like it's grown over three inches but anyway use a silk scrunch always you guys I'll put the link down below I get my scrunchies from Sheen um, the brush that I'm using I always make sure my brushes are completely clean you guys you do not want to be brushing your hair with a dirty ass brush so make sure your hair is your brush are clean and I always hold my hair as I'm brushing it I never just straight brush my hair or comb it without holding it you have to hold it so it's less attention to the actual hair and less pulling so then you can keep your um you know retain your length so yes 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 put another silk satin um scrunchie on there you see i parted it in half and shoot let me put my favorite go-to Cantoon Shea Butter. It's a leave-in conditioner, you guys, that repairs your hair. I just like applying a good healthy amount right to like midway all the way to my ends. And that really just brings back the moisture and the slip and makes it a little bit easier for my wash day. So I just make sure I really blend it in my hair and smooth it down. And I'm just going to let this sit in there for at least 20 minutes. I'm gonna put them in two braids and make for sure the ends are very um, brushed out properly. So. So why I'm placing them in a braid so it can hold the moisture and keep it from um, getting tangled again once I prepare everything for my wash day. All right, so this is the amount that my hair is shedded. That's really pretty good for three weeks so far. So I'm just gonna twist it in a bun around the silk scrunchie and let this sit for at least 20 minutes and put the swimsuit on. Let's put these down. Ooh. Oh, if you guys like my swimsuit, it is from Sheen. It is a full one piece. Shea Moisturizer Jamaican Castor Oil Shampoo is to restore shampoo with shea butter, you guys. This apple cider and vinegar. So I'm gonna use this one to shampoo shea moisture. I put it directly on my scalp, y'all. So, get into this wash day. Yes. My hair needs it. This is really going on three weeks. This is like ridiculous. This conditioner really set in my hair. It feels a lot. 
more softer and that means it'll be easier to manage in the shower and make my wash day go a lot quicker and faster. I highly recommend all these products that I'm using you guys. These are something that I've been using for a while now and they're really helping my length retention and it's really helping uh, my hair grow and this product is really helping my curl pattern. It just really helps. So, yeah. So I'm just working it through my scalp, starting to massage the shampoo, you know, right into the roots, you know, where most of the product is built up at. You want to make for sure you get all that buildup and dirt and oil that's usually set on the scalp using this massaging brush. Oh my gosh, I love this. And this helps stimulate my scalp, you guys, for new hair growth. And it just really gets all the buildup. It just makes my wash days very relaxing also. It's battery operated. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below. I have this for over a year now. I can't believe it still works. They have it in different colors and it has different levels to a bribe rating. It has a little side button. I don't use it frequently because it does tangle my hair as I use it, but this wash day really needs it. Like you, like I said it before, it's been three weeks, you guys. Since I haven't gave my hair some little TLC. So make for sure your temperature of your water is correct. If you're a low prosody, you might want it a little bit warmer. If you are a high prosody, you want it colder. very rough but actually I'm being more gentle I just speed it up so this is just a really basic a very affordable target brand conditioner I like the smell of this one remember this video these are just average products they're okay you know for everyday use but they don't do anything um, special to your hair if you have damaged hair or permed hair or anything like that So I do like both of these conditioners. Um, Alba Botanica is really great. It has a coconut smell just like the Beauty in Plant um, conditioners. They're very thick and creamy. And of course they are both vegan. So by being vegan, it just has all healthy ingredients that won't do no damage to your fertility, no added fragrance, um, you know, nothing that's gonna really damage your hair over the time of use. So when you do use products that do have oils that are really bad for your hair, you're not gonna see a damage to your hair right away. Use that product for three or five years, yes, you're going to start seeing more. Your hair falling out, you're, you're gonna, your hair is gonna thin, you're gonna see a big difference. and extensions aids in the pulling and not really letting my scalp properly breathe for a long period of time and actually start doing damage to my hair. Now that I got it really healthy at a healthy state, I'm just really um, retaining, trying to retain the length. Um, now I'm just rinsing it out with actually cold water so it can really just seal the product right in my hair. And I didn't leave the conditioner in my hair for too long. And I hope this video is very helpful, you guys. Like I said before, it's very important to really take time and have patience to deal with your hair and be more gentle with your hair. And read the labels, you guys, of what, you're what products you're putting actually in your hair. You'll be surprised. Why, you guys, I just washed my hair. I cannot believe how long my hair is getting. Dang, look at that. Wow. I feel like it's just grown a whole another extra inch or two. Wow. It's working. What I'm doing is working. That mess is getting long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick wash day. Uh, I'll have another video. Stay
styling it, but this is how I wash my hair and really minimizing um, shedding and how I hold my hair to prevent the pulling from your follicles. So hope you guys can try this method. It works. It works. <laughs> and these products that I'm using were very affordable. You know, nothing $20 or nothing crazy. So I really hope you guys go out and try these hair products. They're good for everyday wash day routine. You know, it is some high end products that I like using sometimes, but these are the ones I use like on a regular basis. I use Olaplex, of course, and you'll see right there, I have a video there of the Olaplex. And I have videos talking about the brushes I use. It's really important to have your brush always clean and use certain brushes. And if you have curly hair, girl, you can make sure you really put a lot of cream, moisturize, conditioner, water, and brush it. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, it's You're just ripping your hair out if you're brushing it dry. Even though they say that's healthier for your hair because once the water hits your hair, it makes your hair more vulnerable to like breakage. But for these curly girls, that water, it just helps, you know, the brush just glide through. So like I have no product in my hair and it's just, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> smash that, smash that subscribe button, please. <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time, bye.